What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a review and unboxing video of the Sega Genesis Mini. Now Sega Genesis Mini is actually licensed by Sega, so I can't wait to show you guys what it's all about. So without further ado, here we go. All right, guys, let's get into it. So the box itself is reminiscent of the original uh, Genesis when it came out. Um, it includes 40 games along with two bonus titles. Uh, and also there's uh, two controllers in here, wired controllers, the three button actually. Um, this is for the 30th anniversary of the Sega Genesis. So uh, again, like I said uh, on my intro, it's actually licensed by Sega. Uh, and uh, it was actually done pretty well because I do have the at games version, which wasn't very good. Uh, so I definitely can't wait to open this up and uh, try some games out. So it is uh, HDMI output um, and also you can uh, use your, um, if you do have the RetroBit controllers, the USB controllers, uh, you can use them on here as well. Now I do have the wireless controller, uh, one of them actually coming in. Uh, hopefully soon I'm gonna do an unboxing and interview of that as well. Uh, and I'm actually gonna use it for this uh, console here. So opening up here, uh, we have the uh, actual uh, power brick here or power plug, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, so that's pretty neat that it included in the uh, package as well. Um, next up I have uh, looks feels like the controllers uh, they're packaged up pretty good so let's go ahead and uh, unbox one of these here man look at that it actually looks like an original controller there like legit uh, and you can see that so again it's a three buck controller uh, it feels really good actually feels like the original uh, I do actually have uh, a six button original I don't have a three button so um, but it does really, really good on the hands here. And again, like I said, these uh, controller ports are gonna be USB. So if you do have a USB uh, style Genesis controller, uh, upgraded controller, whatnot, uh, it's gonna work. You can't use the original ones. Uh, but like I said, the retro bit one that I'm gonna be waiting on coming up soon uh, does include uh, the dongle for the Sega Genesis Mini. All right, so next up, uh, of course, here's the uh, plug the cable that connects to the uh, power brick there so that we can plug it in uh, we also have the instruction manual as well uh, I'm not really gonna read that but it is reminiscent of the original Sega Genesis as well let's see what next up of course HDMI cable um, it's really great that they include one of these but uh, I already have one kind of set up ready for waiting for uh, this to be hooked up uh, last but not least we have the main piece here and it's gonna be the Sega Mini Oh, this looks sweet. All right, so basically this is gonna be reminiscent of the uh, original Model 1 Genesis, which I don't have that currently. Uh, I'm working on trying to get one, the real uh, decent one. Now I do have the Model 2, um, but I don't have Model 1, so it looks really awesome. It has a little piece of uh, plastic here. I'm just gonna move that. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it doesn't actually work, but it has a little entrance for the uh, cartridge slot there. Uh, has the volume on the side here as well. Doesn't work again. Uh, and of course your on and off button and your uh, reset button. Uh, again, like I said, the um, uh, controller ports are USB. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but like I said, you can always use one of the RetroBit controllers. Uh, of course, the only thing on the back here, you have the HDMI output and also the uh, power. And then uh, this does open over here. Get it open here. Obviously it's not gonna work, but <laughs> you know, you kind of got the side here that comes up for the original uh, Genesis that actually has uh, the connection for the Sega CD. So that's pretty neat. They have that included as well. So uh, this looks pretty neat, uh, but I didn't buy it just for looks. So let's hook it up and check it out. All right, guys. So when you first set it up, it's going to be actually, it's going to ask you for language settings. Uh, and then once you get past that, then you're back up here to the main menu. As you can see, all the games are listed uh, for now by... Uh, alphabetical order or you can also do release date um, the settings is up in the top left corner and then also uh, when you do go to pick a uh, game let's go let's go let's go to uh, let's do Sonic we'll do Sonic uh, it actually tells you the release year and uh, also information about the game how many players uh, and then also tells you you know of course during gameplay hit hold start sorry 
to save, load, and return to the main menu. So I'll tell you what, let's get into uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1, uh, and uh, we'll go. We'll start there. Now, uh, the reason why there's no sound on the game is because for some reason my capture card was kind of sounded iffy. It was like really low, and and uh, the, the sound was really off. So I didn't want you guys to think it was actually the uh, Genesis Mini that was sounding like that. Now the sound uh, is, is pretty good, uh, I mean, for a uh, emulation and whatnot. Um, I don't have any issues with it. So the graphics themselves, they look uh, pretty good, pretty clear. Uh, so I don't have any issues with it. Now somebody that's like a diehard fan probably will be a little bit uh, like, okay, notice the colors and all that good stuff. But uh, other than that, you know, regular pairs should be fine. Now let's go back into the main menu. Again, pressing hold and start uh, and going, hitting uh, return to main menu and now you're back. Uh, so uh, the next game that I'm thinking about doing, let's go ahead and do uh, Gunstar Heroes. That's another one of my favorite games there. Uh, but it's worth to note that uh, they do have uh, Street Fighter 2. I like to show like a fighting game with the controllers, but since the fact that I only have the three button controller, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, stick with uh, games that only use the three pad or three button controller there. So uh, let's get into Gunstar Heroes and then uh, we'll go on from there. So like I said guys, uh, I went ahead and tested the Sega Genesis Mini without the capture card and uh, the sound was uh, good. So uh, just going to give you a rundown if you didn't watch the beginning of the video. <laughs> uh, basically the sound card made the, uh, the video card that is, uh, made the uh, sound sound really weird and really uh, muffled and low. So it just sounded just really off. <laughs> so basically what I did was I uh, just removed the sound uh, period. So uh, that way, you know, we have to worry about doing that. So uh, this game is pretty neat. I don't know if any of you have played it before, but it's a really fun game. You can also play two players on this as well. Um, you're basically just running around blowing stuff up um, or those whatever things that are trying to kill you. But anyways, um, I have heard this is a pretty hard game. Now I can vouch for that because of the fact that I ran this game multiple times from Blockbuster. You know, you guys know Blockbuster, right? Anyways, um, I'd always rent this game because I would never get any further than I believe like the second level or something like that. Uh, you know, it's been a while, so I don't really exactly remember. But um, I'm looking for this game to actually add to my collection, uh, complete in box. So uh, that's definitely uh, one of my goals. Um, so uh, basically, like I said, you know, just kind of shoot, kind of like I guess uh, I guess you could say like a shoot 'em up, kind of like uh, um, I guess uh, let's see, uh, Contra more or less. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, you know, you can have weapons that, you know, go all crazy all over the screen and everything like that. So, uh, a lot of stuff going on, but it's, a, like I said, guys, it's a really fun game. If you get a chance uh, to pick this up, or uh, if you uh, ever played this before, you know what I'm talking about. This game is really uh, fun, really addicting, so uh, definitely a must if you uh, uh, are a Sega fan, for sure. Um, so, okay, so I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and uh, hit uh, start here in a minute and go back to the main menu. Right, back in the main menu let's go to settings so i can show you what uh what's in there of course you got the please read for playing uh, languages screen settings uh which is you know 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 i believe uh aspect ratio um, i'm just gonna leave it a 4 by 3 i just like the nostalgia on that uh wallpaper settings uh like i said earlier you know so we can change the wallpapers if you wanted to um i think i'm just gonna leave it on that one um the original one there i'm gonna hit back now uh, staff credits and luminosis and of course we're set to factory settings uh, now you know this is kind of just basic you know stuff here you can you can mess with um, get to the right side there's a sort by release date as well uh, so they got some pretty cool games you know Alter Beast, uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, Columns, Golden Axe, uh, of course Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Tur Toe Jam and Earl, Earl uh, Kid Chameleon, Sonic 2, uh, Echo the Dolphin, um, Road Rash uh, also one of my favorite uh, uh, games on uh, the uh, Genesis as well uh, Future Rage 2, of course, Gunstar Hero, Shinobi 3, uh, Street Fighter 2, uh, Trail Champions, Castlevania Bloodlines, you know, all that good stuff. So pretty much, you know, all of these are um, pretty good games to uh, have on your system here. Now, of course, all Vector Man, I forgot about that, Sonic Spinball, um, you know, there's these these games are a pretty good little collection of games that you can get back into if you haven't played in a while. Um, Earthworm Jim, well, let's go into Comic Zone. So you can see here, these are all the games that are included. So if you definitely want to pick one of these up, now you know what's on here to play. 
that's it for the video thank you so much for watching thank you for commenting and subscribing to the channel uh, make sure you hit that bell icon in the right corner there so that way you don't miss any of my future videos i should have one coming up pretty soon another one that is coming up pretty soon so definitely look out for that uh, also head over to my instagram page throw a follow on there uh, with that being said guys as always we'll see you next time